I think I found a really cool and unconventional way of using this specific plugin, and I wanted to share it with you, so come along. Have you ever tried one of these plugins they put on your master bus that simulates the sound of speakers but on headphones? There's one from Waves that simulates the sound of the control room of Abbey Road Studio 3, so it sounds like you're actually mixing in there. I personally don't use these kind of plugins, however, I found a really fun and unconventional way of using it. And when this particular plugin came out, I got an idea and I was thinking to myself, what if I put this plugin on a track in the session instead of the master bus? And then I send something through it and I bounce it into another track at the same time so that it becomes like a part of the mix. But an even cooler thing with this plugin is that your laptop camera is also part of this and it tracks the angle and direction of your head. So if you move your head around while using this plugin, it almost becomes like a panning effect and the sound changes depending on the angle of your head. So that's pretty cool, right? Try it out and see what you think. And another cool thing with this plugin is that you can switch between the near fields, for example, and the large speakers and use that to create movement in a mix. For example, you could send a piano through it and have the piano coming out of the near fields in the verse and the big speakers in the chorus, giving the chorus more of an impact and emphasis. The only downside of this technique that I found is that it only works on headphones, of course. So if somebody listens to your mix on the speakers, it wouldn't be the same. It would sound like the mix is coming out of speakers, but through speakers. So, But for those who listen to your mix on headphones, it would be another experience altogether. 